My name is Katherine Corona and I teach at Yowell Elementary School and welcome to the 2024 Art Show. This is our 20th Art Show for Culpeper County Public Schools. We have Regan Smoot, Art Teacher at Pearl Sample, Liz Schumacher, Art Teacher at Eastern View, Michelle Colony, the Art Teacher at Farmington, and Kathy Dwyer, the Art Teacher at Emerald Hill. We love to put on the Art Show to showcase all the hard work our students have um, accomplished all year from preschool through 12th grade. We've done art in different mediums and we like to showcase how far they've come. It's nice to see a preschool progress all the way up to 12th grade and kind of see that hard work pay back at the art show.
At today's art show, you'll find about a thousand pieces, um, a variety of middle school and elementary school and high school. You'll find families coming to see their children's artwork, they're bringing relatives, they're bringing neighbors, um, and I think we just have a happy crowd today. Um, so we are happy to have the art show in collaboration with the Maker Energy Fair going on for STEAM weekend. Art is imperative to STEAM as it lo allows students to be creative and problem solve, collaborate with others, um, and just overall express themselves. The most important thing to know about art is every child is an artist and every child can create. It doesn't matter what you have at home, just start somewhere. three judges that come um, during off hours and it, we had two school board members and one uh, teacher over from SeaTech. They came and judged. We had about 80 pieces from each art teacher. We have different sections, for example, oil pastels, pencil, colored pencil. Uh, they break it up and then they judge each section. So um, we only judge right now the high school, um, the three high schools actually, Phoenix, CC, and EV. The Best in Show winner was Brooke Bell, 12th grade from CCHS. Um, so I was inspired. I had went to Europe and I was inspired by their sculptures there and I've seen multiple of them that just look like they have fabric over them. And I was so inspired of it, I just, when I got back to school, that was my next project. And I started with a reference photo, and then I just went to town on it. It was amazing, it took a lot of time, and I'm really proud of it. Um, I think I spent maybe a, two weeks, maybe two weeks and a half. I kind of, not lost interest, but it was very tedious. So it took a lot of time with, going back in with very light lights, very dark darks, like super drastic contrast to get those like exact shadings. So 
I, and then I got critiques from my teacher, Nicholas Searle, and he was like, you need to go back in and make it super dark so you do have those contrasts. And then at the very end, I'm like, I feel like it needs a little something. So I went back in with ink, with gold ink, and I just went over one of the darkest areas of it so that it would just give that pop. And I wasn't a huge fan of it at first, but as I, as I finished it and as the compliments started coming in, I was like, I actually really like it now. So it was a tedious project, but I really liked it. most important thing to know about art is every child is the artist and every child can create. It doesn't matter what you have at home, just start somewhere.